Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's talk about Donald the Saurophaganax. Saurophaganax was a very large carnivorous dinosaur that lived in the Jurassic period. It could exceed 10 meters in length. Some people say that the ultimate individual might reach 11 meters, which is quite close to the size of Tyrannosaurus rex. The fossils of Saurophagax are very poorly preserved. The remaining fossils are quite fragmentary, including a partial thigh, some scattered bones of other body parts, and some skull relics. Therefore, we can only rely on its close relatives, such as Allosaurus, to speculate what this dinosaur looked like. When doing the reconstruction, we restored its overall appearance mainly based on the Allosaurus fragilis. According to the reconstruction, you can see that its skull was huge, with a length exceeding 1.1 meters. It was a gigantic carnivorous dinosaur. The length of its skull can reach the size of some Tyrannosaurus rex skull specimens. This dinosaur was more sturdy and robust than Allosaurus as a whole. Looking down from above, you will see that this dinosaur has thick chest and thigh muscles. Although its pelvis looked narrow, the muscles on its legs were very plump. The well-preserved leg bones of Saurophaganax show that its leg bones were much thicker than those of other Allosaurids, and their stoutness was quite close to that of some Tyrannosaurids. Therefore, when we restore this dinosaur, we can make it sturdier. It had a relatively longer neck like Allosaurus, but much thicker. It probably had a longer and more muscular face than Allosaurus. Although there is no direct fossil evidence based on its body shape, we can infer what this dinosaur looked like. Its head appears stronger and thicker. When doing the restoration, we adopted a way of possessing lips to restore the skull and made it more like a monitor lizard when it closed its mouth. When it opens its mouth, you can see that its upper teeth are very short. Although the single tooth of Saurophaganax was very long, it was relatively smaller in proportion to the size of its entire head. With lips, when it opens its mouth, you can see that its teeth are not noticeable, just like lizards. Its upper teeth are somewhat covered by the lip. In addition, the gums of lipped animals are often thicker. If it had a lip structure like a lizard, the principle of biting an animal was to use the gums as a buffer. When biting the prey, it would squeeze the teeth into the animal's body like a syringe. So when it was alive, its teeth appeared relatively short because thick gums wrapped them. The rear of its lower jaw might be very developed because such a giant carnivorous dinosaur must have a stronger bite force. There were tavomeranasal organs on the top of its mouth, a common feature of this type of animal. It used this to sense sense or breathe. We don't know much about the tongue of this dinosaur. However, based on some studies on the tongue of Tyrannosaurus rex, we generally believe that carnivorous dinosaurs, especially large carnivorous dinosaurs, have tongues that are not particularly flexible and may stick to their lower jaws like crocodiles. We don't know much about the skin of this dinosaur. The skin of Saurophaganax has not been preserved, but its close relative, the Allosaurus, has relatively well-preserved skin, which shows delicate scales. Therefore, although this dinosaur looks smooth and scalous at first glance, you will see tiny scales when looking closely. Its neck had powerful muscles. Based on modern technology, we have been able to restore the accurate muscle structure of this dinosaur's neck. First, there was a triangular muscle along the posterior of its head, which pulled its head upward to twist to both sides. The several groups of muscles on the side allowed the neck to move more flexibly. The neck of Allosaurus was very strong and flexible. The neck of Saurophaganax may have a similar structure to that of Allosaurus. It might turn its head very easily with its neck. After biting the prey, it would twist its neck to tear the flesh from the prey. The forelimbs of Saurophaganax were also very strong. It had large claws. These claws were even bigger when it was alive due to the covered keratinous sheath. Therefore, its two front hands were its powerful weapons. This dinosaur had spectacularly sizable forelimbs and could use them to capture prey. Other physical characteristics of this dinosaur can be reconstructed based on some other animals. For example, there were skin membranes on the front and back of its legs to connect to the body respectively. 
Looking at the early restorations, you will see that many dinosaurs have been restored with their thighs moving independently of the body. In fact, through some specimens, such as some ornithomimosaur specimens, we now know that resembling modern birds, the muscles in the front of its thighs were wrapped together with the body. The connection position was located higher, because it's more flexible than a bird. The bird's thighs cannot move, as they squat inside the body all year round. Generally, the thighs of carnivorous dinosaurs could only kick forward limited, but could kick backward in a wide range. This might caused by the blocking of the front ribs. In addition, this structure made it easier for the dinosaur to stand upright. Maybe it could stand upright briefly to observe the surroundings. The skin connection between the dinosaur's tail and thighs can be seen in well-preserved specimens of Psittacosaurus. Not only is the skin connected to the body, but there is a bone structure behind the thigh of Saurophaganax, which shows that the muscle at the posterior of the thigh was connected to the tail. Therefore, when it walked, it swung its tail to drive its toe hind limbs, making walking easier. Its long tail was very important, which functioned as a balance and pulled the hind limbs to save energy at the same time. This movement structure is a bit like the action of swinging to arms when we walk. Good, the above concludes our introduction to Donald the Saurophaganax. Thank you all. Thank <laughs> you.